All right, folks, in this clip, I'm going to teach you how to draw fantasy figures. I've said this before, but I'll say it again here. Fantasy is the funnest genre by far with which an artist can uh, create and draw in. It uh, basically affords us the most opportunities to really create something completely original. Um, so when you're sitting down to draw fantasy characters or uh, figures or anything in the fantasy world that uh, is going to interact with others, uh, keep in mind that you don't have to necessarily follow the rules of the real world. Uh, you can create something that is not in any way culturally relevant to the place that we live in uh, currently, our time. You can step outside of this space entirely and allow your imagination to wander. Good thing to keep in mind while you're doing this is to uh, make it as visually interesting as possible, to uh, craft something as original as possible, and to at the same time figure out ways to connect it uh, with the world that we are familiar with because even though it is um, a good idea to be as creative as possible and as original as possible, at the same time you want to uh, help your audience connect with your work by establishing it somewhat, only in slight, slight ways with, uh, within the world that we live in ourselves. Um, taking examples from uh, you know classic stories such as the Lord of the Rings and how J.R. Tolkien used you know mythical figures and allowed his imagination to wander while at the same time incorporating different you know physical traits that we all see in ourselves and others you know when he was crafting different creatures such as the orcs or the elves or the hobbits they all have distinct completely original character traits that are their own but at the same time uh, they all inhabit the, a world that makes sense as well, one that we can connect to as an audience. So when you're drawing your fantasy figures, be sure and keep all those things in mind. And of course, have fun.